Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Raf, and today I want to talk about the current state of Pokemon Journeys. The Pokemon aimed to be a Pokemon Master series has proven itself to be very interesting, especially in terms of its episode plots, and there's been quite a lot of discussion surrounding how it's portraying Ash and Pikachu's final moments in the Pokemon anime. And today, I want to chat about some potential controversies. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. We are currently 4 episodes in out of the 11 for the epilogue series focusing on Ash and Pikachu's final adventure in the Pokemon anime. During this time, we've seen Ash reunite with old friends, some of his old Pokemon return, and we've also seen him befriend and encounter Pokemon. When the epilogue series got revealed, it indicated that episodes will be focusing on the final stage of Ash and Pikachu's adventure before they leave the anime after 25 years. Now looking at the reception of these episodes, it's been quite mixed. Some viewers are enjoying the nostalgic narratives, and others believe that the episodes are just being detrimental to Ash's final moments, as they see these episodes as filler. I can understand both sides of the coin, so let's explore these opinions. Let's start off by looking at the current episodes and meaning behind them. Episode 1 introduced us to the Latias that Ash helped recover after it got injured, and ever since then, it has been following Ash. This episode was essentially the catalyst to imply that Ash may already be fulfilling the role of a Pokemon Master, and I'll elaborate on that later. Episode 2 focuses on Kasumi's return and reintroducing her character. It also held narrative and storyboard parallel concepts to episode 151 of the original series, the episode where both trainers competed to catch Totodile. Episode 3 focuses on Takashi's return and reintroducing his character, alongside bringing back Dent for involvement in this episode. As for episode 4, this episode focuses on Ash going out of his way to help a Pokemon to control its abilities and powers. For episode 5, we know that Ash's Squirtle, the Squirtle Squad, Bulbasaur and Charizard will be all returning. Episode 6 will be focusing on Ash and Pikachu getting separated and trying to find each other again. And finally for episode 7, it will focus on Ash reuniting with his Lapras, attempting to help a Whelmer. Now the reason why many like these episodes is because they're solely focusing on Ash's character and his adventures with Pikachu. From how we've seen Ash in the episodes, he's had loads of interactions with Pokemon such as Latias, Clauncher, Hatterene, Hatrim, and Bertic. The way Ash has gone up and beyond to help these Pokemon is showing that he could very much be a Pokemon Master. The definition of a Pokemon Master hasn't been fully made clear yet in the world of the Pokemon anime. However, Ash is always someone who has been caring and going out of his way to help Pokemon, leading to continual improvement and development. Even his own Pokemon help others too. So taking this into consideration, the more I think about Pokemon aim to be a Pokemon Master, the more I'm starting to believe that maybe Ash will discover he's already a Pokemon Master at the end of the series. Becoming world champion, his Pokemon, friends, encounters with legendaries, saving the world, maybe all of these have defined him already. Maybe this series really is just to show recalls and a retrospective approach for Ash to actually realise that since he began, he has been a Pokemon Master. He just had to add the various pieces of the puzzles to trigger events in his adventure to unlock that development of realisation. And with this taken into account, Ash's final reward for all of his continuous caring and supportive characteristics will allow him to catch Latias maybe at the end of the series. But now let's talk about the potential controversy. Last year, I made a video talking about my wishes for the series and how we could get some crazy returns and concepts. I also made another video talking about how the final episode of the series could portray Ash. Be sure to check them both out to hear my thoughts. When the series was announced, many including myself believed we were going to see Ash reunite with some trainers from the past and finally have some wishes ticked off to showcase moments that have been made up for him. However, even though we only know 7 out of the 11 plot episodes, it doesn't look like any of this will be coming true. Due to this, many viewers are thinking that these episodes are filler, and not showing any clear direction as to how Ash is going to become a Pokemon Master. Like I said, a Pokemon Master doesn't always have to be someone who battles and catches, but at the same time, these are Ash's final moments. Viewers are implying that they wish that they saw more from the series, and the fact that some of the episodes are reusing concepts is just making this series showcase more filler than anything. For example, the Wormer concept has already been used multiple times in the anime. Why are we seeing another episode of Ash and Pikachu getting separated? I could totally understand the frustration, and in fact, I pretty much agree on this side of the coin too. Only to some extent though. I don't think Ash's character is going to be ruined though, and on top of that, Ash doesn't always have to battle and catch. He shows a lot more by caring and interacting with Pokemon, something that he's been doing for 25 years. So the concept of filler is a bit 50-50 in terms of indentation at this point for certain moments. But I could definitely understand why many just want to see different concepts and narratives for episodes, rather than bring back a Pokemon or event that we've seen on numerous occasions. The Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime series is started in April, and so many viewers are not keen on this series. And with the way Ash is being shown right now, 
many are starting to give up on this anime. It's actually sad because we've just seen Ash become world champion and break so many trends, and his final option to potentially bring some hype and redemption to the series is probably just for him to catch Latias at the end of it. It's a very confusing time right now to be a Pokemon anime fan. On one hand, we're seeing all of these wholesome interactions and moments that could be showcasing Ash's Pokemon master character, and on the other, we're being given repetitive concepts of episodes that are just showcasing filler. I'm truly hoping things can be shown in better light soon. Like Ash said in episode 136, he aims to meet, befriend and help more Pokemon and he's doing a pretty good job at that. But at the same time, the way the episodes are being portrayed, it just doesn't seem to satisfy many viewers. Heck, many are so confused as to why Ash didn't even catch some of these Pokemon before. But like we mentioned, it's not always about catching. Those Pokemon got development thanks to Ash. It's really wholesome. I think we all need to realise that even though Ash and Pikachu are leaving soon, the writers are showing us certain messages about each episode in relation to them both. I can also understand why many think that this series is destroying the anime and ruining Ash's character. Yeah, we would have expected more especially seeing as Ash and Pikachu are going to be leaving after 25 years, but at the same time, we can't control this. We still have 4 more episodes left and depending what they're focusing on, that's when we're truly going to be finding out if this was the best decision to make or not. Ash and Pikachu's era in the Pokemon anime is going to be ending very soon, and I have to say, most of us are really, really emotional about this. Others are like, oh, okay, maybe it's just time for him to go. But at the same time, you have to remember, these two have been the faces of the Pokemon anime for 25 years, and even though there's been a lot of controversy surrounding Pokemon journeys from the very beginning, it's starting to become a potential problem for the Pokemon anime community. I've been seeing loads of various posts on Twitter recently talking about this very same discussion, and if I'm being honest, it's actually really upsetting. So many fans are really looking forward to seeing all of these potential outcomes, but at the same time, we can't always hype up our expectations. Yes, it's good to speculate and potentially theorise about what could happen, but at the same time, we aren't the writers, and they'll be the ones that will just continue to give us the plot. This is a very serious matter to talk about though, because many are starting to believe that Ash's character is going to get ruined after this, and it will all be a waste of nothing for him to be removed from the anime after 25 years. On top of that, many viewers are starting to say that Pokemon Journeys is going to ruin the Pokemon anime, and then with the Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime coming out, many are just so scared to watch Pokemon. But I still have faith in this series, and I always will have faith in the Pokemon anime and Pokemon franchise so fingers crossed we get some clarity about all of this very soon. But wanna let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team Pokerft Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.